What you're going to see next is real. There were no special effects added. This is a Broadway show called Par Amour, created by Cirque du Soleil. And the flying lampshades you see over the actors are the kind of magic Verity Studio does. So Verity Studio is an ETH spin-off created by Raffaello D'Andrea. We developed drone show system for the entertainment industry. And with Par Amour, we have now performed more than 200 shows without any incident. And now that we knew lampshades could fly, we asked the question, what else could fly? And this is how I became drone costume designer. I started working for Verity Studio nine months ago. My past work was not related to drones nor costumes, but a lot of different aspects attracted me in this job. First of all, my job was to do research, so to test, to experiment, and to fail also sometimes. Also, I got to work with engineers, which gave me the opportunity to learn a lot. And most importantly, what spoke to me in this project is the poetry and magic. When I arrived there, I was given a blank slate. Very little previous work existed, except the lampshades. It was an open field with the possibility to invent a new dream, a new kind of poetry, constrained only by the principles of physics and aerodynamics. In nine months, we developed a lot of costumes. I tried to explore all kinds of fields that seemed interesting for me to understand better this technology and its limits. And today, I'm going to present you a few of them. The first one is just right here. It's based on the resonance effects. So the quad, by flying at the right oscillation frequency, is going to excite the costume movement, giving it a distinct personality while flying. The first time I designed this costume, I wasn't thinking about resonance, because I didn't know what it was. But the engineers, when they saw it flying the first time, they directly thought about this principle. Resonance is often encountered in engineering, but most of the time with a negative connotation. Here, we used it for a great effect. Also, when I design a costume, I have several physical constraints. And one of the most important is the weight limit. So for an 80 centimeter quad, like the one we work with, the maximum weight is 250 grams. It's not a lot. To help you imagine, it's more or less the weight of a big apple. And finally, this is how it looks like when it flies. Each costume is related or will be related to a choreography. So we can decide to develop a costume for a very specific movement we want to play with. This costume is very lightweight. It's 150 grams. And the white parts you see are made to catch the air. They are all connected with thin carbon rods braided together, giving this nice pattern. So when the quad is going to fly with large up and down movement, the costume is going to reverse. In this experiment, we were aiming to create a playful light interaction. We thought it could be interesting to make use of reflected light. The result is this very simple costume built with mirrors or faces. So when you project light on it, you get reflections on the wall and ceiling, but most importantly, on the costume itself. So when the quad is flying with the light following it, you will get this nice random effect nearly giving life to the costume. The drone draft created by the drone poses a major design challenge for all of the costumes. But at one point, we decided to try to make use of it. And this was our first attempt. In case you didn't understand, it's badly crashed. <laughs> so we took a different approach. Why not using this strong air to actuate something on the, in the costumes? And this is how it works. The blue surface you see under the quad is going to catch the air. And as it's related by wires to the costume, it's going to actuate a movement of opening and closing. Each time the quad is going to land or take off or land, you will get this movement. 
And this was the beginning of a research based on the same concept of opening flowers. Here, we imagined it in the context of the Singapore airport at the baggage claim area. You would have these giant flowers flying over people and landing on specific platforms to recharge, allowing the people to come closer to the costume and admire them. And each time the quad would take off this platform, the costume would blossom as a flower. And this is just the beginning of this art form. A lot of fields are still unexplored, but I really look forward to continuing this research. And I hope for the moment we have inspired you to imagine the infinite and great possibilities we have.